Please note, this video is for educational purposes only. What is ripping a website? Ripping a website is where you download a website and its files. You're essentially just copying and downloading it. The downloaded website can be viewed offline, altered, or re-uploaded. This can be useful for landing pages and making changes to them. How do you rip a website? You can rip a site with a free website copier called HTTrack. It's available for download on both Windows and Mac from HTTrack.com. You'll want to download and install it, then come back to this video. Our goal is to clone the CryptoStacks landing page located at CryptoStacksBook.com. We're going to open the GUI version of HTTrack. This version is only available on Windows. However, you're also able to use the CLI on other operating systems. On Windows, you'll need to find the install path, which is likely C colon backslash program files backslash winhttrack. From here, you'll need to open winhttrack.exe. Now that you have HTTrack open, you can follow along. First, you'll press next. Then, you'll enter in a project name. In our case, I'll enter in crypto stacks. You'll be able to change the base path. This is where the website will be downloaded. I'll leave this to the default setting. Now I'll press next. The action should automatically be set to download websites. If it's not, you'll want to change this. You'll then enter in the target URL. In our case, this is https colon slash slash cryptostacksbook.com. Now I'll go ahead and press next. You'll see a screen to adjust connection parameters. You can ignore this and press finish. You'll see stuff happening on the screen as the website and its files are downloaded for offline usage. Once finished, you'll see a screen saying mirroring operation complete. Now you'll press finish and you can close HTTrack. Now that we've downloaded the site, we need to find it. It would have downloaded to the base path you set in HTTrack. In our case, this is C colon backslash my websites backslash crypto stacks. We're going to open the folder named after the target URL. In our case, this is cryptostacksbook.com. Inside of this folder, you'll open index.html. If the cloning was successful, you'll see the exact same website without any broken images or assets. If you're wanting to improve the site, you could put all assets into the same folder, delete files created by HTTrack, and update the paths. Then, you'd be able to change the content locker and host the site yourself without any problems. That's everything for this video, and I hope you found it helpful.